Energy is essential. Without energy, there is no biological life possible on Earth, including plants, animals, and human beings. Even the tiniest biological cells wouldn't survive without energy. But energy is also essential to our modern civilization. Without vast amounts of energy, our modern world wouldn't even exist. Our economic growth is based on a constantly producing industry, producing the goods and services we need to live and work in our modern world society. This, in turn, drives life-changing innovations and advanced technologies, as we report about in this channel. And all of this is possible because of vast amounts of constantly available energy. Up until now, we have basically used dinosaur juice, trapped deep within the Earth for millions of years, which has driven our economic, industrial, and technological leaps. However, all of this development came at a price. Climate change, environmental disasters, and energy dependence were the tribute we had to pay. But with the global agenda of the energy transition towards green renewable energy sources, all of these dependencies should come to an end. The world is building an abundant, sustainable green economy powered by the wind and sun. A utopian world of freely available abundant energy without dependencies is awaiting us. But there's a huge catch in the utopian world we're trying to build. And it's all about those tiny battery cells meant to power our sustainable green economy. In an ideal world, powered by a large mix of weather-dependent renewable energy sources, we need powerful and reliable storage solutions. Of course, solar power needs to be available at night, and wind power needs to be available when the wind isn't blowing. In recent years, with the rise of electric vehicles, Chinese manufacturers saw explosive growth in the power battery market. The market share of Chinese EV battery suppliers has risen to 77% surpassing the biggest Western companies like LG and Panasonic. Today, China is dominating the market, with 7 out of the top 10 EV battery makers being China-based companies. And CATL, a Chinese battery manufacturer, has established itself as the biggest in the industry. To meet the rising global demand for EV batteries, CATL invested heavily to expand its production capacities in and outside of China. The company invested 1.8 billion US dollars in a new battery factory in the heart of Europe, Germany, perfectly located and connected to supply major German and European automakers. The battery plant already started production with an output of 40 million battery cells in 2023. A whopping 7.6 billion is invested for a second battery plant in Europe, with a 100 gigawatt hour battery output located in Hungary. These investments secured CATL long-term contracts with Europe's largest automakers, such as Mercedes, BMW, and Volkswagen, to supply batteries. At the same time, Chinese battery makers are announcing one battery breakthrough after another in record-breaking time. CATL announced the production of sodium-ion batteries back in 2021. Then last year, the Qilin battery with an advanced new cooling and heating system, new LFP cells in the new cell-to-pack design, and now with the condensed battery, CATL announced a major breakthrough of high-energy dense batteries with a whopping 500 watt-hours per kilogram. It has more than twice the energy density of batteries available nowadays, enabling luxury EVs to ranges of over 600 miles. CATL is already testing this battery with aviation companies to even electrify planes and the new battery will enter mass production this year. But that's a topic for another video. CATL's expansion plan alone will increase the total battery output to 800 gigawatt hours annually in 2025 and to 1000 gigawatt hours annually in 2030. So what is happening in the energy storage industry? Has China already left us behind? Have we already lost the race for advanced battery technology? and are we doomed to a new dependency from an authoritarian government? This is going to be an uphill battle, because change is already scary for most Americans. But the energy crisis made fossil fuel companies more profitable than ever. Oil and gas CEOs raked in $4 trillion last year. 
while the general public lost an estimated $350 billion in the stock market. In fact, some of the only winning assets in 2022 were oil and energy stocks and fine art. No, that's not a joke. Contemporary art sales rose 13% year over year in 2022, according to Bank of America. In fact, over the last 26 years, contemporary art prices outpaced the S&P 500 by 131%. And with this in mind, it makes sense that last November, when most asset classes were finishing up their worst years since the global financial crisis, the art market had their biggest art auction season ever. And thanks to today's sponsor, Masterworks, it's not just millionaires profiting from art investment anymore. Masterworks has sold over $45 million worth of artwork by giving everyday people the opportunity to invest in fractional shares of art, from legends like Picasso, Banksy, and Basquiat, to name a few. Each of their sales thus far has delivered positive net returns to their investors, which explains why over 700,000 have signed up so far. As the economy looks weaker and weaker, demand grows by the day. But the Futurist subscribers can skip the waitlist today by clicking the link in the description. Let's take a look at this graphic and continue with our topic. We can clearly see how China is dominating battery manufacturing with a battery production capacity of 893 gigawatt hours per year and a market share of 77% in 2022, while the US only made it to third place with a battery production capacity of 70 gigawatt hours. The current state of Chinese dominance in the battery industry has alarmed the US government to take action and change the tides. Being dependent on China for a key technology in the sustainable economy of the future, like energy storage, is simply not acceptable for the United States. Therefore, the Biden administration created the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 to boost the domestic US battery production capacity and reduce the dependence on China. The Inflation Reduction Act makes the single largest investment in climate and energy in American history. The Inflation Reduction Act is intended to put the United States on track to meet the Biden administration's climate goals, including a net zero economy by 2050, and to secure America's position as the world leader in domestic clean energy manufacturing. But it is also the reason why Tesla is shifting its 4680 battery cell production capacity from Giga Berlin to the United States. A $45 per kilowatt hour battery production credit is available to Tesla if the batteries are produced in the US. That's a $3,645 subsidy that goes directly to Tesla from the US taxpayer for each 81 kilowatt hour Model Y long range battery pack they produce. North America's battery manufacturing capacity in 2021, however, was only 55 gigawatt hours per year, making it almost impossible to meet demand. But North America will see an unprecedented expansion of the EV battery manufacturing capacity this decade. The Department of Energy reports that between 2021 and 2030, the total battery manufacturing capacity will increase nearly 20 times increasing North America's battery manufacturing capacity to nearly 1,000 gigawatt hours per year by 2030. Most of the announced battery plant projections are scheduled to begin production between 2025 and 2030 and should decrease the reliance on Chinese batteries. By 2030, this production capacity will be capable of supporting the manufacture of roughly 10 to 13 million all-electric vehicles per year. But still, even though the American manufacturing capacity will see exponential growth this decade, China's dominance is expected to 6x at the same time. Additionally, China's dominance is supported by its control over cathode, anode, and refined battery material production, giving the country a monopoly over the industry. This is also the reason why Tesla invested billions in a lithium refinery plant in the US. As you can see, China's dominance in battery technology is still growing. Even though the American industry will see an unprecedented growth this decade to cut from Chinese dependence, China will still have a global dominance on an important resource for the sustainable economy of the future. But a California-based company has announced a battery breakthrough with a new miracle anode material delivering 500 watt-hours per kilogram. 
This game-changing new material is the most promising battery breakthrough of the year for the American industry, enabling more than 1,000 miles of range for EVs and charging times of under 6 minutes. Watch the displayed video to learn more.